Yes? I spoke with Mr. Tucker at the Boar's Head Pub, but frankly, I'm not at all sure what he said. Yes, his language is quite colorful, isn't it? He's Cockney, you see. My brother Alan and I loved to make up Cockney rhymes when we were young. We drive our governess quite batty. Haven't got a pot of glue. Haven't got a pot of glue. Ah, how we teased her. Pot of glue? A clue, dear. Haven't got a clue. Rhymes with glue, you see. The picture book in Jane's room. Do you know much about its history? My brother Alan found it somewhere in the house. He was quite fascinated by it, but he'd never let me look at it. What was your brother Alan like? Oh, he was quite remarkable. He taught linguistics and computer science and won many prestigious awards. He loved games, especially pranks, and was forever tinkering with this and that. I do miss him sometimes, but now he's gone. He died a month after my husband passed away, and ever since I've been here all alone. Until Hugh came back from the United States, that is. Goodbye. The pleasure is all mine, child. Well, aren't you the pretty spider plant? but it won't turn. I need to put some kind of grease in there first. I can use my Johnny Rudder to grease up that lock outside Jane's room. I'll loosen things up in there. Hi, Nancy. Have you played that game on the computer in the library about the 13 ghosts? Why do you want to play some dumb old computer game when you can play a game with me? <sighs> no, I've never played it. I should get going. Toodles! Hi, Linda. Nancy? I can't believe you're still here. I thought for sure that... Maybe you can help me. I know I can help you. Just tell me what's wrong. I haven't told anyone what I'm about to tell you. Mostly because what happened is all my fault. I should have listened, but I didn't. What's all your fault? <sighs> One day, after Hugh left for Rome, I inadvertently discovered a secret passageway. I started to explore it. And pretty soon, I found this really old-looking message etched into the wall. When I read it, I realized it was some kind of ancient curse. I tried to laugh it off, but it was kind of unnerving. So I went back to my room and found a note on my nightstand. And on it was written the exact same curse. That very night, I started to feel... strange. The curse has been coming true ever since. Where is the secret passageway? I can't tell you that. I've already caused my own doom. I won't do the same to you. I can handle it, Linda. Really? You have no idea what you're up against. 
Can I at least see the note that was left on your nightstand? I burned it as soon as I read it. I don't know why I bothered telling you this. You can't do anything for me. I should have listened, but I didn't. And now what's done is done. How well do you get along with Jane? I've been giving it the old college try, believe me. But she can just be so strange sometimes. How so? She'll just do the oddest things. Like one night just after Hugh left, she came into my room and insisted I read a book to her. That doesn't sound very odd to me. The book was on monsters, vampires and werewolves and witches. I mean, what kind of little girl reads books like that? She fits right into this house, that's for sure. I'll see you soon. Please. What is that? Uh, oh, baby, I'd better have a look around. Looks like a piece is missing. What's that? Again. He was Randolph's grandson and the first initiate. Odo did not have the proper qualities for Randolph's instruction. Because he was stupid? No, Jane. It's because Randolph believed that the proper qualities skip every generation. We talked about that, remember? I guess. Milo was a great soldier, just like his grandfather. And with his grandfather's help, he was victorious at Khan. That was a battle fought in 1417, during the Hundred Years' War. That's right. But I don't understand something. The Hundred Years' War lasted longer than a hundred years, right? So why do they call it that? Why don't they call it the 116-year war, huh? Oh my, look at the time. We need to go over your geometry. Please open your book to page 46 and read silently. Hello, Nancy. Have you seen any runes anywhere in the manor? You mean like Norse runes? No, I haven't. I don't really know much about them anyway. Dead languages aren't really my bag, you know. I'll let you get back to your work. Farewell. Fascinating piece, isn't it? James Penvelin sculpted it in 1591, although it appears that wand was added at a later date. He was quite a flamboyant figure and never married, but one day... A child appeared quite mysteriously in the castle, and he took her in as his own. That was Eleanor, and many of the town folk believed her to be a changeling, 
or fairy baby. Je suis tu et il est. Good again. Je suis tu et il est. So who's ready to go in a ghost hunt? Remember, you mustn't waste any time. Our little chums won't stay visible for long. So, on your mark, get set, go! Got one. <laughs>
Ten down, three to go. The time has come for closing books. There, ghost number 13. Congratulations, you're one of the few people who have seen the 13 ghosts of Blackmoor Manor. As a reward, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. But a word to the wise, if you're wearing a hat, hang on to it, have fun! Filius, filii, filio, filium, filio. Filius, filii, filio, filium, filio. Filii, filiorum, filiis, filios, filiis. Filii, filiorum, filiis, filios, filius. And filius is Latin for? Son. What are you doing? Linda? I'll be going now. Hi, Nancy. Have you ever heard anything strange at night that sounds like chanting? No. Do you know of any secret passageways in the manor? I found one, but all it did was lead to this funny picture. Do you think you could show me where the passageway is? Wouldn't you rather play a game with me? I'm so bored. If I play a game with you, will you tell me where the secret passageway is? Okay. I got this at this really neat museum in the States. It's supposed to be an original Maya game, but don't worry. You don't have to, like, kill people or take their hearts out or anything. It's really easy to play. You roll the corn and move your warrior the number of dots on the corn. If no dots, then you get to move five spaces. You get two turns, but you can pass on your second turn. You just keep on going down this track, and you can capture my person if you land on him. Whoever gets all the warriors wins. I'll be blue. Here we go. I pass. You can go. You can go. Oopsie. I pass. Your turn. Your turn. Pass. You can go. Your turn. All right. 
bypass. You can go. You can go. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Pass. I pass. You can go. You can go. Pass. Your turn. Pass. Rats. You can go. Your turn. All right. Your turn. You can go. You can go. You can go. Your turn. You can go. 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 I pass. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. You can go. Oopsie. I pass. You can go. Your turn. Pass. Your turn. Pass. Gotcha. You lucked out that time. Okay, I found the secret passageway in the East Hall. That's the hall with the coat of arms on the door. But it's not a very exciting secret passageway. You're going to be totally bored. Wouldn't you rather play a game with me instead? The East Hall is locked. Do you know how I can get in it? My great aunt took the key. She probably thought I'd break something in there. But I found another one. Here, you can keep it if you want. I should get going. Come back soon. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Felicity, let's.